What's up, guys? Can you hear me? I'm sure you can. But listen, hey, we're going to have a good show today. Happy Easter to everybody. I'm going to wait for some people to come in. We just got started. And uh, it's been a while for me on here. And uh, listen, let's have a good show. Hopefully, we get some good people on here. Okay? Countdown. I'll see you in a minute, guys. never make you grow it's not a seed it's a gutter there's no happy endings in this life so this is my message to you will never love you back. What's up, guys? How are you? Well, it's been a while. Happy Easter to everybody. Hope everyone's doing good out there. Look, I haven't been on in a while, so, uh, you know, I look at my laptop because I got a new one. I haven't used it. And I say, wow, I forgot how to even work certain things over here. But, uh, Boston J, what's up, buddy? My my pal, Benny from the Bronx, how are you? Time for the kickback. Kevin, how are you? I see you in the chat. New York Dad, John Russo. Well, I hope everyone's doing good. I'm going to give you a little time for a couple of people to come on. Uh, I'm going to try to get my brother on here. It's been a while. Today's Easter. Uh, Christ has risen. You know, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe in God. Uh, to all the Christians out there, stay strong. It's an ugly world, but we have to keep God in it. And there's, there's so many things to talk about. I mean, whether it's politics, nobody likes to get into politics, uh, you know, in all honesty, who would be a better president to lead our country? You know, look at Biden. What is Biden doing for us? He's doing nothing for the American people. You know, uh, Donald Trump, you put him in here. He was here for four years. The country was running smooth. Uh, we were considered strong. They respected us. Nobody even respects us anymore. This, our country is turning to garbage. Uh, look at everything that's going on. But that's another thing we could get into politics. You know, even our uh, prison. The only reason, uh, another another issue we could talk about. A uh, police officer was shot in Far Rockaway. Uh, officer Dilla, okay, by two ex-felons, okay? I think one of them had nine felonies. That's another conversation we can have uh, because of prison reform. In all honesty, this officer should be alive. You know, and those uh, that guy who shot him should have been in jail. I mean, back in the day, if you had two felonies, you were doing some time. Now, today, you have nine felonies. Every time you get a felony, you get slapped on the wrist and they chase you out of there. You don't even have to put up a bill anymore. So there's a lot of things to talk about. Let me uh, see what everyone's doing over here. All right, let me see. Devin Grant. Hey, Jimmy, have a blessed Easter, you and your beautiful family. Thank you, Devon. I appreciate that. Same to you and yours. It's my brother, John. Happy Easter. We feed him out. I'd like to get John on here. Mark Jones, following your pal. Happy Easter. Same thing to you, Mark. Thank you. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Time for the kickback. Joe Biden is from Wellington, Delaware. 
I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Our crime is ridiculous. If he couldn't fix this small state, how's he going to fix a country? There you go. Thanks for the comment. Boston J. It's Boston J putting up, you know, look. I don't ask for no donations, but listen, you want to give it? That's fine. You know, I'm really not here for that today. I'm just, uh, I just wanted to come on. I haven't been on here in a while. I used to love coming on here and have some fun with everybody. You know, then, you know, you get the jealous people and they want to ruin a nice thing for you. You know, but the thing is, listen, throughout the course of life, we learn from our mistakes. We learn from uh, decisions we make and we learn about ourselves, you know, and uh, people should learn about themselves to be a, a little smaller, smarter than they are. But I'm going to keep on coming on. I want to come on. I have a lot to say. YouTube is a totally different world than reality. I want to give a couple of shout outs. I want to give a shout out to uh, my friend, Petey Bellini, Rocco Morelli. These are two men that I look up to. They're uh, God loving men, God loving people. Uh, to my family out there, the people I really don't talk to every day. I hope everything's good with you. Happy Easter. You know, when times like this, when you're here for the holidays, you miss the people that are not here anymore. You know, I miss my parents, uh, my grandparents. You know, back in the day, times were different. Easter was so big. My mother would dress me up and things like that when I was a kid. Uh, and what they're doing is every year as time goes by, they keep on taking Christ out of the equation. You know, they want to take Christ out of America. If you see what's going on, you know, uh, Joe Biden uh, declared today transgender day. I mean, you know what? Yeah, they can have their day, but you know what? Not on Easter. You know, this is a, a sacred day. This is Passover. You know, Jesus Christ died and he and he and he rose from the dead. So uh, you know, it's very special for uh, Christians. But uh, let me see. Let me send uh, my brother John uh, link. Let me see if I even know how to do this anymore. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay. Let me see. One minute, guys. Okay, let me see what this one's saying. Hope there's no troublemakers in here. Easter Sunday of all days. Nah, I think we'll be all right. Can you mind Jimmy Clanger playing piano? I would love to play the piano. You kidding me? Why is Guy Media? How's it going, Jimmy? Benny Serrano from Williamsburg. Happy Easter. Benny, how are you? Happy Easter to you and your family. It's good seeing you here. Are you still in Williamsburg? Just curious. Let's see. Yeah, Jimmy, hop on the piano behind you. <laughs> I wish. I wish I could do that. Hope there's no trouble making it. I did that already. Okay, I've seen that.
Let me see. I'm not sure if I could uh, do this, John. I don't think I remember how to do this stuff. John, let me send it to your email, okay? Let me send it to your email. John, I send it to your email. Go to your email and get it. Thanks. So, yeah, so, uh, you know, getting back to Easter, back in the day, I used to love the holidays with my family. I have a lot of photos growing up of me and my siblings with my parents on these holidays, they were very special to me. Looking back, uh, the memories mean so much to me. As you get older, you know how time flies. Uh, Big G, I see you. I hope everything's good with you. Soretti, how are you? Jesse. Jesse. Jimmy, I appreciate all you do. You speak from the heart. You know, look. This is the thing. Uh, I try to be myself, you know, I, and people try to take you out of character. You know, they want you to be something else, you know, and after a while, you know, there's so much you could uh, endure. Even if Trump wins, he's only in there for four years. It will take him six months just to get going. Things will go right back to normal after his presidency if he wins. Well, you don't know. You don't know what the next day brings. Will you ever have Mikey Scars on? Mikey Scars could come on here anytime he wants. Anytime he would like to come on here, he could come on here. If he's got something to say. The only thing I said was about Mikey Scars, you keep on knocking Sammy. Tell us your stories. Tell us the stories of your life, but you keep on knocking Sammy. We know what Sammy is. Sammy was, a, 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 you know, killed 19 people, involved in 19 murders. All right. But, the, you know, but you put 80 people away. You know, you keep on knocking Sammy. I mean, whatever Sam, you know, whatever Sammy did, the guy did over 25 years in prison. Okay. So you did face some music. You know, you still went through hell. And I don't and I don't care. When you go to prison and do time like that, you're going through hell, believe me, eventually. You're gonna be in the hole. Uh, you're gonna be subjected to a lot of fucking things, you know. And uh, you know, only people that were in prison to those maximum facilities know uh, you know, what I'm talking about. Okay. Prison is not fun. Sometimes you can have some fun, but when you're doing twenty five Life, listen, it's not fun. It's really not. But, I, you know, I don't want to get into Mikey right now. Today's Easter. You guys got to do another baseball card video. That was a good segment. Yeah, we do. I tell you, I love baseball cards. I should have brought some up and uh, showed you a few of them. Happy Easter from Ireland. Salute Ireland. Where do these people call you the helmet? Is that a childhood nickname? God bless. Oh, that, that was their nickname. Let's see what else we got over here. Let's see if my brother John's gonna come on. Back to inf infamous eye-catching moments.
That was nice. Boston Jay that night was funny. Let's see what he got. Let's see. I did that one too. John, did you get in your email? You know, there's a lot of things I want to talk about. Happy Easter, Jimmy, to you and your family. Christopher Capello, same to you. Here's a good one. Are you having all old school food your family would have on Easter? Uh, this year, we're having uh, pasta, meatballs, sausages, uh, of course, Italian bread, vegetables, things like that. A lot of food on the table. Yes, I am with my kids and, uh, you know, I enjoy the moment when I'm with my kids because I know the time goes by so fast. So, you know, and I uh, and I do it for them because uh, I remember when I was a kid and I look back on all the holidays, the holidays were the best. They really were. Where have you been? I hope you're doing good. Stay safe. Irish Green, thank you. Same to you. Look, I'll get into this. Just uh, we got seventy-two people in the chat. So my last couple of videos, I uh, I did was uh, basically just. I spoke about Joey Molino, uh, you know, saying he's not a stand-up guy because he was on Vlad TV. Now, when I talk about these guys right away, other people get their feelings hurt. Okay, I don't know why, but uh, the reason why I said it is because, look, I know all about the street, and these guys who actually are doing prison time and given their life and spending their life in prison, truly believe deep down in their heart that they're doing this prison time because they believe in this life to keep secretive, okay? You never talk. You don't talk to a reporter. You don't talk to nobody. You don't talk to a video camera and let someone interview you. That's why I say Joey Molino is not a stand-up guy. So anyone from the street, that is a wise guy, anyone that's an associate, anyone that's in prison, you people understand where I'm coming from. You know, I don't think uh, these wise guys in the street would sit down with Joey Molino, okay? For the fact of, you know, everything is secretive. You're supposed to keep everything a secret, you know? The underworld stays in the underworld, you know? And that's it. You don't do uh interviews with nobody so that's the reason i said that so i wasn't attacking him uh in any other way i was just speaking of the underworld you know what's right and what's wrong okay obviously he's not in the mob no more because he was in the mob he would not be doing interviews so i do believe that i said it again that uh i think he's taking a shot trying to uh, seek Hollywood, something that uh, Bugsy Siegel was doing at one time, okay? He looked to become an actor. He was he was mingling with the actors and the actresses back then in Hollywood, okay? That made the, uh, the, the mob a little upset. Uh, then you had Crazy Joe Gallo. He started mingling with the mobsters too, if you guys don't remember. And then later on, they killed Crazy Joe in Lombardo's. But, uh, you know, in that life, you keep yourself low key. You don't talk to record uh, reporters. And because he spoke to Vlad TV, in all honesty, 
You know why? That's a sign of being a rat. Cooperating, yes, absolutely. Like, what's the next step after that? You know, if you could go that far, what's the next step? You think wise guys uh, like that, that he's talking to uh, Vlad TV? I don't think so. Not the real wise guys, no. Definitely not. Where was he in a tiny Easter pie? I'm missing out. John, what happened? You couldn't get no link? Let's see. Mr. Colangelo, Molino's a bum. Watch one of his shows and the rest are repeats. No content of his own. Irish Green. Happy Easter. Bella Napoli, Batcave. Bella. But we're in 2024 and the underworld isn't so quiet anymore. And he's definitely in the life still. I don't think so. This is where you and I have to agree to disagree. Okay? You're saying he's still in the life. And I'm telling you, he's not. Happy Easter. Okay, Let's see what else we got over here. That's fair, right? It's no biggie. It's a possible. He is. You might be right, but I don't think so. I don't think so because uh, you know I look at Joey like this. Look, I think uh, he did. He did a lot of prison time. I think he's tired of the life. He uh, in the video of Vlad TV. You see, he's talking about. He said. Uh, Vlad asked him, what's the percentage of people cooperating in the mob? He said, I don't know, maybe 98%. So if you got only 2% of people you can trust out of 100, why would you want to be in the mob? It came out of his mouth, not mine. He said 98%. That's what he said, are cooperating. So you got 2% out of 100 people. You can only talk to two people out of 100. You want to be in the mob? I don't want to be in the mob. I don't think he wants to be in the mob either. I think if they asked him, uh, let's do let's do a movie, we got a movie deal. You know what? That's the next step. I'm saying today, at this day and age, the age he is, all of us, when you're growing old, you got to think about retirement. And that's what he's thinking about, retirement. I'm saying, you know, you got to make a certain amount of money, make it work for you, and, uh, you know, just relax and uh, take it easy. A certain time in your life and that's where he's at i think he's got a couple of years on me joey molino maybe three or four years i think if he's 60 i'm gonna be 55 he's got five years on me if he's 60 i'm not sure but uh you know it's just a conversation that's it two percent shit odds that's what i'm saying if you got a hundred guys out of a hundred guys you can only trust two of them i mean that's why they say you'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies. Joey Demetri in the image of his life, and he said no one could play him except him. Well, there you go. You know, I didn't see that part, but there you go. I think uh I definitely think he's got a story. Of course he's got a story, hundred percent. You know. But you know. Now we're going back about the underworld. People do not go and do interviews. That's why I say he's out of the life. People will say, no, he's still in life. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Jimmy, what does that do have against you? Seems like you did nothing to him. Uh, you know what? Look, I could have addressed the elephant in the room. I don't even, I don't know him. I never met him to do. Uh, you know, he has the uh, the right to say what he likes, however he feels. Uh, that's fine, you know. Uh, at one time, he asked me for an interview, and I was going to do it. Then I said, you know what? Uh, one of his own people told me not to do it and not to trust him. So, 
I said, nah, let me just wait, see how he acts. And uh, I'll tell you, basically, he uh, showed me who he really is. So, you know, that's it. Like I said, I don't know him. I really don't care for him. I'm not going to say anything bad about him. I mean, uh, you know, we could both feel the way we feel about each other. Don't care for you. You don't care for me. That's fine, you know. And life goes on. You're never going to be in my company. I'm never going to be in yours. Life goes on. You want to talk about me? Go ahead. Everyone else is talking about me. I love it. Keep on talking about me. <laughs> Keep on talking about me. Go ahead. Thank you. If you can please watch the Mooney Cabrini and his incredible movie about Italian immigrants coming to New York. I'm going to check it out for sure. Movie, the Cabrini. Sure, Cabrini. Gotcha. Well, he's got a channel. He's got a, a brand. If that's what he wants to do with his brand, then do it. Everyone has a brand, right? You know, this is the thing. Look, I've been through shit in my life. I, uh, I've been in dark places, experienced uh, being away from my family, experienced uh, prison time, fell down, got back up, fell down, got back up. Uh, just like a lot of you people out there, you know, that are watching, uh, you fall down, you get back up, you learn from your mistakes. If you don't, then you're going to stay down and you're going to end up back where you are. Uh, I actually uh, made one of the best decisions I could ever make in my lifetime. People can call me whatever they like. I tell you, uh, names don't hurt me no more. They don't. I just go forward. I do what's best for me and the people that I care for because they mean the most to me. And uh, I take one day at a time and... I just try to learn from everybody, you know? And I learned that most likely people will disappoint you. So be careful who you put in your company because eventually people will disappoint you. You know, you can't trust people no more. People do not have the values uh, they had years ago. Uh, years ago, it was a different ball game. As time goes by, uh, everything's getting watered down. Even the Italian names are getting watered down. Guys that are getting made now, it's no more full-blooded Italian. You can be 25% Italian, okay? You still get made if you have an Italian last name. It's all now about becoming a member. Uh, the wise guy thing ain't what it was years ago, you know? And uh, everything changed. Everything changed throughout the course of this country, the world, everything. Jimmy Smith, I didn't see him do that, but I'm going to check it out. And uh, let's see. Hey, big, big dog, do you still love and adore Sammy the Smeagol? Let's see. I mean, you know, we could talk about Sammy too, okay? That tranny right there, that's what it looked like. It looked like a tranny. I just blocked him, okay? We could talk about Sammy too. I'll, I'll address Sammy. Uh, look, Sammy, uh, he lived that life. He was definitely a gangster. In all honesty, Sammy could have been the boss of that family, uh, you know, but... uh. I don't have no beef with Sammy. I mean, you know, Sammy, uh, I visited Sammy. I had a nice time with Sammy. Uh, I know his daughter, Karen. Uh, there's some things that Sammy, like, I don't know. You know, Sammy's out for Sammy. We know that. You know I'm saying, but I'm not going to knock the guy. I, I, I guess we're all out for ourselves, right? I mean, you know, I'm one of those guys. I want to see everybody do well. I really am. But, uh. Like, I would never disrespect Sammy for the fact of he invited me to his home, uh, had some uh, some nice laughs with him. I sat down, had dinner with him. 
and uh, you know, basically that's it. You know, it doesn't mean I have to talk bad about the guy. You know, I'm not going to talk bad about the guy. But the same thing with Mikey Scars. You know, I'm not talking bad about him either. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, who are you to talk about Sammy the Bull when you put 80 people away? I don't get it. I'm saying, and if you look at his story, uh, he says he had a weak moment. You know, uh, you know, look, when you have your back against the wall and you're looking at doing a lot of time and you know you got to make a decision because the decision you make is going to be something you have to stand on. And, uh, you know, we all had to make a decision. My decision was to come forward, uh, forget about moving on in that life and just do the right thing now. I mean, it's time to be a man, uh, say what happened and uh, put it behind me. And that's what I wanted to do. You know, of course you're gonna have people that are always gonna remind you of the things you've been through in your life. But uh, listen, you know, look, you have good and you have evil. Same thing with people. You have good people, you have evil people. You know, and uh, you just have to be careful who you trust. You know, unfortunately, uh, things happen. But uh, Lee Cole, hey, Jimmy, brother, hey, graffiti mount, how's everything? Good to hear from you. It's been a while. Lewis Cole, what's up, pal? How are you? How's everything? Good to see you, Lewis. I'm going to try to drop the link. The brother kid was paid to fly out to meet Sammy and his son. He and Luigiano got paid to do a show with him. Good. You know, it's good. Let them make money. Why not? You kidding me? And that's the thing. You know, if Sam, if Sammy's helping you promote something, you know, in that uh, genre, then, you know, that's great, you know. That's the thing, you know, help somebody. If you could promote somebody and help them and push them along the way, why not? That's what it's all about. I mean, look, when I first came on here and then other people came on after me, I try to help them. I try to promote their channel, you know? I mean, all these guys that did these, uh, that have these YouTube channels, I help them. They could say anything they want. I'm the guy that helped them. And then they just... You know, went off with the channel and they did what they had to do with it. Hey, Jimmy, when I get back to the Bronx from here in Florida, I like to arrange a sit down with Tommy Dates about NYPD pals boxing. Thanks. Well, I'm sure Tommy Dates is probably watching this. You know, I could uh, reach out to him, of course. And, uh, you know, that'd be left up to him. But, yeah, you definitely have a shot of doing that 100%. Sure, why not? Happy Easter, Jimmy. We love you. Mike Radei. Thank you, Mike. I love you, too. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Thanks for, sh for showing up. Thanks for the comment. Emmett Jones. How did Philly mobster Jimmy Morello avoid substantial prison time? I don't know. I can't tell you too much about Philly, you know, but I will Google him Jimmy Morello. I am going to email you, bro. Sorry, I had some personal shit. So was distracted, but wanted to catch up on your time on Pittsburgh. Rich Capo. Sure, reach out to me. Willie De Janeiro. Let the hate is hate. Mercy loves company. Thanks, Willie. Tommy Lucchese. Jimmy, happy Easter. You and the family. The same to you, Tommy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's for sure. 
Definitely in my integrity and honesty, brother. Thank you. Dawn Blaze Lash. Yes, happy Easter, Jimmy. Same to you and yours. Back to it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So uh, I hope a lot of you guys are uh, spending Easter with your family. I mean, the most important thing is like getting together. You know, look, I don't get together with my brother no more or my sister. Like when we were kids, yeah, we all got together. Every so often, if we get together, we're lucky. Like my, my sister's spending it with her family. I'm going to spend it with my family. And uh, my brother's going to spend it with his family. You know, uh, so it's hard. You know, so when you get in the room with... You know, people from years ago, whether it's family, some old school friends, you're blessed. You're blessed in life, you know, because it's hard to get together anymore. It It isn't what it used to be. Years ago, things were simple. You get together. I mean, uh, now it's, you know, everyone has their own life. Everyone's doing their own thing. Let's see. What are you having for Easter dinner? This year we're having uh, sausage, meatballs, pasta, uh, Italian bread. I picked up all that stuff already. Uh, cannolis, os Oscar tails. Uh, we got uh, St. Joseph uh, pastries. Uh, two of the different creams. We have, uh, there's a lot. We got a lot of food. We got enough food, you know. Thank God we have enough food. And uh, I'm going to be with my kids, so that's going to be a good thing. My family. And uh, I'm blessed to, uh, you know, to share this day with people I love. That's for sure. Jimmy comes off so much more real than any of these other guys on YouTube. Great storyteller about his past and has changed his life for better. More people should be doing that. Florida Guy 03. Florida Guy 03, thank you for showing up. I don't know you, but uh, thank you for the comment. I really appreciate it. The kind words, it means a lot to me. Uh, you know, I do the best I can, you know. Let's see who else we got over here. My family, at least media family, still all gets together for holidays. That's great. Nice, that's great, Mel. We have similar food, makes the event. Let's see who else we have in here. Okay, so far we got 103 people in the chat. Back, Boston J, how's everything? Aaron Pace, how you doing? Nice videos. Well, thank you. Like I was saying uh, before, you know, the last couple of videos I did, I spoke about Joey, Joey Molino, Mikey Scott's. Right away, I say something, everyone gets uh, their panties uh, in a bunch. Uh, then I did another video on the guy, Dominic Crea. I mean, Dominic Crea is uh, the son of Stephen Crea. His father was a captain. Uh, his father was a boss of uh, the Lucchese family. So, uh, you know, he's a paralegal. And, uh, you know, he pushes this thing, we push back. And they talk about everyone that cooperated. Now, the thing is, you know, if you could talk about me, I could talk about you. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, you know, we could both play the same game. So, you know, let's do it. You know, at first I didn't want to do nothing like this. But listen, I'm going to come on. I'm going to make a video here and there. I'll do a video. I'll come on live. I'll talk about uh, politics. I'll talk about relationships. I'll talk about anything there is to talk about. I'll talk about crimes. You know, but, uh, you know, there's so many things to talk about. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Jimmy St. Finbar, St. Francis Cabrini, or, or 163. J Dog, what's up, J Dog? Tony Galena, love hearing your stories. My dad, Sicilian from East Side, 1918, great guy. I miss him. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you and your family, Tony. Uh, the East Side, I tell you, back in the day, the Lower East Side was uh, all Italians. You know, uh, my friend Viking lived there. My friend Freddie lived there. Uh, it's nothing what it used to be. It's uh, at nighttime. It's definitely dangerous. You still got some nice spots out there. You got cats out there, the uh, deli. Uh, but look, I'm in New York all the time. New York City is the best. But <clears throat> regardless of the uh, migrants, I love New York. I'm always going to love New York. It's uh, my father introduced me to New York back in the day because my father lived in Manhattan. Uh, my mother grew up in Brooklyn. And uh, when I used to take the train to New York City, me and my brother, we used to walk down Prince Street to my father's uh, apartment. And it would just be a different world, New York City. It's nothing like Brooklyn. Anyone that knows New York knows what I'm talking about. And, you know, me and my brother, we just had this conversation the other day. The conversation was how we grew up. We were so lucky to grow up. Uh, my father in Manhattan, because we met all these characters in Manhattan. And uh, like my father ran this big building, Whitehall Moving and Storage, back in the day on uh, 330 Hudson Street. And he controlled the whole building. And then I had a set of the keys of it too, you know, to get in and out of the building. And, uh, you know, they had all these uh, old paintings that were in uh, storage in these cool units and stuff. They had, uh, you know, all kinds of storage. Around the 4th of July, what I would do is I would get one of the storage units and I would put a whole bunch of fireworks in there back in the day and I would sell fireworks out of there, you know. But that's what we used to do back in the day to make money. We'd go to Pennsylvania, buy the fireworks, come back, storage them in the warehouse, and then we'd be selling them, you know. But these are things we did. But they were great times, you know. And then on Thursday nights, Wednesday nights, payday, my father would have card games, you know. I would bring uh, little bags of cocaine and uh, ten dollar dime bags of weed, and I would sell them to uh, the people in the building, you know. And they would buy them, and I would play some cards, and we'd be rolling dice, we we be rolling our uh, AC Ducey, and uh, things like that. But yeah, we had a hell of a time looking back, you know, a really good time. So flow, what's up, baby? And uh, I tell you, so flow. You, uh, I remember when you first came on too. You know, I didn't know you, and uh, you know, I liked you. I liked everything you were doing. You know, I, I gave everyone an opportunity. I mean, that's the way I was back then. Me too, Jimmy. I work in Manhattan. Happy Easter, Jimmy. To you and the family. To you and the family. Nikki's girl. Thank you. Same to you. Mob True Crime. Five bucks. Happy Easter, Jimmy, from Gene and JC. Good to see you back. I got to run. I'm heading to church with my child, Jesus, our Savior, and has risen. JC, thanks for coming by. Thanks for the five dollars. I appreciate it. Tell Gene I said hi. Happy Easter to you and your family. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Let's see. Jimmy, did you get Jimmy, did you get to con connect with Fabrizio at all since he got out? You know, and this is a good thing. This is a good conversation. Look, 
I don't need to connect with Fabrizio. You know, Fabrizio is now a wise guy. Fabrizio is now in the Bonanno crime family. You know, unfortunately, that's his life. You know, that's his life for him to choose what he's going to do with it. Uh, if he's going to continue to be a member of the Bonanno family or is he going to try to get out and walk away from it? I mean, look, we all have to make choices, you know. Uh, you know, Fabrizio did a lot of time, 25 years. So, uh, you know, he's a stand-up guy, did his time. Uh, he's going to probably have a nice position in the Bonanno family if, you know, that's what he's looking for. But, uh, you know, like I say again, the Bonanno family, it's not all peaches and cream. You know, you have to deal with other criminals. You know, you, there's so many people you could trust. And you got to be careful who you trust, who you put in your circle. That's for sure. But uh, in all honesty, look, Fabrizio was always a decent kid growing up. He comes from a good family. And looking back, I would never ever think Fabrizio would be a wise guy. I, I wouldn't. But, you know, Joe Benanti and uh, Spiro, you know, they made that decision. They made him uh, one, of, one of them. He's now a member of the Bonanno family. I think uh, he can move up to captain ASAP. Absolutely. Uh, they're going to probably start making new members too. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I can't say I wish him the best, but, uh, you know, in that life, it's going to come to a bad ending for sure. A hundred percent. Who else is out there? Let's see. Fourth of July, Benson House. I was the best. It was a great holiday. Let's see. T. Jimmy, you know what? I've been meaning to ask you. You said Paulie Galino had two siblings. You ever speak to his siblings since you got out? I know you said you were close to his mom. Well, his mom was Millie. His father was Gino. His brother, John his sister Josephine, and uh, his sister Linda. So I spoke to Linda once since I'm home. It was a, it was a while ago. You know, she, you know, what came out of her mouth was, uh, it was so true. She said, my brother didn't know who his real friends were. And it's the truth because he opened up the door to... Joey Calco and Tommy Reynolds that end up killing him. So uh, that's the truth for sure. But T, I don't know who you are. Obviously, you're somebody that uh, knows Paulie G. You wouldn't ask that question. But uh, happy Easter to you. Thank you for the comment. Appreciate it. One hundred and thirty people in the chat. What else you want to talk about, guys? You want to talk about uh, happy Easter, buddy. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Mickey Boy, living legend, gentleman, tough guy, 100%. Mickey Boy, 100%. Mickey Boy, uh, he punched me in the arm one time. Mickey Boy has a dead arm. Uh, he just, it's, it's like that. It's just like you just hit it and like it just, it's like a hammer, Mickey Boy. And when he hits you, he don't realize how dead his arm is. Like he hits you with a, with a solid bang, bang. So, uh, but yeah, Mickey Boy was uh, definitely a character. He loved Frankie the Chico. Chico. Uh, I was with him for a minute in Lewisburg, and then uh, he left. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's an old school gangster for sure, Mickey Boy. Jimmy, when will you discuss the terrible photo stop? You did. Thank you. Happy Easter. But well, which one is that? I'm saying. Which one, are you, which one are you talking about? 
You're talking about the one with uh, Tommy Karate and Paulie G? If that's the one you're talking about, let me know. Because uh, that was for all the people on YouTube who are triggered, okay? So before I even did that, I told the kid Gunsmoke that I was doing that, okay? Because all these people are so tr triggered. Everything I say is so triggered, these people. You know, you got to realize that some people on YouTube never leave their house. They don't even have a life. You know, all they do is uh, continue all day long to uh, troll people. They like trolling people. It's like, I guess this is the new thing they do. They troll people. Years ago, when I was a kid growing up, we left the house. We went to the park. We went to the corner. We got into mischief. We got into trouble. We used to climb roofs, throw eggs at people. Chicago Muscle. Team Muscle will back Jimmy up into that. Team Muscle, I appreciate that. I really do. Happy Easter to you and your family. And uh, I appreciate that. I really do. And, I, you know, I hope, uh, you know, I hope we could you know, be friends. You know, it's so hard to trust people on this uh, this internet thing. It's like today's friend is tomorrow's enemy on here, you know, and I don't want that with certain people. Like I want solid people in my corner. You know, if you have solid people in your corner, in all honesty, with, you could depend on them. I mean, you don't have to agree on everything, you know, but just to depend on somebody and know, you know what, you got my back, I got your back. It's a nice thing, you know, to have. It really is. But I appreciate that. Happy Easter to you and your family, Chicago Muscle. Thank you, Chicago Muscle. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Believe me, it means a lot. Beck Brooklyn. My guy, Beck Brooklyn. Beck Brooklyn, we got to get together. Mickey and my uncle Sam used to sell fireworks and put the fireworks on 84th and 17th right down the block from Mickey's. Yes. From Richie Toscano, no place had food like the old neighborhoods, Spamoni Gardens, Totonos. Totonos is still there. Spamoni Gardens is still there. Gargiulio's is still there. Albany cannolis. I'm not sure. Is Albany cannoli still there? And many great delis, restaurants, bushes, pizzerias, bakeries, every corner. Well, you know what? That's what's so great about the neighborhood. You got all the best food. You know, you know that. Crystal Ward, happy Easter. Hope everything's good with you. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Boston J. Happy Easter, gentlemen. Timothy Sutherland. None of these trolls could face us in person. We are big, bad monsters. That's a nice piano. You want me to play it? New Corner was a very underrated restaurant. It closed down now. A new corner was great. Yes. So, uh, yeah, some of these restaurants that you mentioned, God Julio's, great restaurant. A lot of wise guys go there. You have Spumoni Gardens. I tell you, Spumoni Gardens is not what it used to be. Years ago, Spumoni Gardens was great. Uh, the pizza was great. You had the real tie-ins out there. I don't know who owns it now, but it's not what it used to be. I'll tell you that. That's what's, And you got Totono's. Totono's Pizza, I think you catch it. You'd be lucky if you catch it open. I'm not sure. I haven't been there in a while, but they had great pizza there. That's uh that pig Angel Gotti is next. But what did Angel Gotti do? Muscle. 
I'm saying I really don't know what's going on. I tell you the truth, you know. Like I try to stay out of the, uh, the insanity, you know. You too, thank you, and also everyone in the chat. Have a blessed day, Crystal Ward. Happy Easter. Have a great day. Be good. Katrina Diane is still open. I'm not sure. Hold on, guys. Let me see something. I'm trying to get my brother on here. Let me see. Yeah, I actually forgot how to send the link. <laughs> Let me see if I could drop this link. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me see. Uh, let's see. She bashed my father. PLW Angela Right Wing is next to be exposed. Uh, I could. Oh, wow. That's terrible. See, they start talking about fathers and stuff. That's crazy. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that, Muscle. It's just uh, terrible. Don't end. Jimmy, my brother, you and your girls have a nice Easter today. Stay strong, my friend. Louis Cole, happy Easter. Yes, I'm actually uh, <clears throat> going to be in dinner with my kids shortly. I'm just doing a video quick, and then I'm going to... Uh, Go eat dinner with my kids. I ate at Bo John's Deli on my last visit to Brooklyn. I didn't know he opened one on 13th Avenue. Yeah, John Deli, I think uh, Stillwater Avenue, 13th Avenue. You have one, I think, on Still, uh, the JF, uh, one of those uh, schools over there. He, they're all over the place. I want to stand out too. Let me see. Happy Easter, Jimmy. Love the show. Ernie, thank you. Happy Easter to you and your family. Crystal Ward, same to you. Okay, let's see. Boston J. Lewis Cole says, Happy Easter. I'm on, I'm on here for almost an hour. Let's see. Where's uh, Joey Smokes been? I haven't seen him in a while, Joey Smokes. Gotta give him a call, I guess. Let's see. Oh, this is an old one. Almost all the diners closed down. Vegas, Del Rio were the two most famous. But you got the Vegas, you got Del Rio. You had the Bay Diner. That's not there no more. There's one on Cropsey and the one on Emmons Avenue, the Greek Diner. Yeah, that sucks. I used to love the diners, man. Used to love. I used to love going to the diners after the club. You know, after we go out, then we go to breakfast. Those were the best times. And then most likely we probably had some kind of fist fight and got into trouble growing up. That's how it was back then. Let's see what he's saying about this. Froggy Hell Court at his usual red boot at the Petrina Diner. You look very handsome today. Thank you, Crystal. Well, guys, let me see if I could drop this link. I'm going to try this one more time.
guys. Jimmy, did you play any sports growing up? I used to love to play football. Uh, I played basketball, stickball, softball. Yeah, I played sports. Had some fun. You will have to come on the show sometime, brother. So these folks. Anytime, uh, Chicago Muscle. Joe Sis, Frankie D, good friends of my pops, Oscar, Lo and Mickey. Those guys always treated us good. You know the old time is that? Monty's Chicken Siliano. Dyker Restaurant, who remembers? Rob D. Jimmy. Rob D. What's up, Rob D? Happy Easter. Rob D. The real Jimmy Calandra at gmail.com. That's my email. Let's see. Hang out, guys. I just want to see if I could do this. No, the show's not over, John. I'm trying to get this link in here. Yes, stoop ball. Yes, I remember all this. Yes. I love my dad loved hand handball. Yes, handball. I used to love handball. Is born under George County. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, Muscle, have a good holiday. Have a good Easter. I'll see you soon. Me too, I love sports. I still have a good arm. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this over here. Let me see. Okay, hold up. Paste. Jimmy, do you have any holiday stories from a poly G and you are still in the neighborhood? Let's see. Yeah, I got some more stories, holiday stories. 
see. Let's see. So if you do, do you cut, cut, or do you copy, paste, trace? So what does it do? Copy. Guys, hold on for a second. Okay, hold on. Hey, Sari. Jimmy. Hey, gun smoke. Happy Easter, brother. Happy Easter. How's everything? I'm all right. I'm doing a show right now. What's up? We're on mute. Hey, how do I uh drop a link again? Uh are you on StreamYard? Yeah. You gotta go to invite at the bottom of your screen. You see where it says invite? Yeah. You gotta click on that. Yeah. And then you're gonna hit copy. You see where it says copy? Click on that. Yeah. And then once you do that, uh, you see where it says post a comment in the chat? You got your chat open? Yeah. So you uh, you want to click your mouse, like uh, right click, uh, left click the mouse so that, you know. I don't have a mouse. You don't have a mouse? No. All right. Okay. So if you're using your fingers, um, do what I told you. You know, uh, go to invite, okay. click on copy. Okay. And then once you copy, you got to click control. First of all, uh, click on the where it says post a comment underneath the chat. And then you got to click control CV at the same time to paste it in there. You know how I used to do it? I used to, I used to like just do it with a, uh, I used to copy the link like on the Google thing to, and just press something or, or copy and then just bring it right to the link. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to, well, the, the only way I know is to press control CV if you're using your fingers, not the mouse. Control CV? Yeah, you have to click it at the same time. So press control and the letter CV at see. the same time. And then it should paste in the, where you post a comment. So what do I do? I press copy? Yeah, so you go to copy. So I press copy. <laughs> So now it's copied. So okay. now you go to post a comment, like if you want to type in the chat. Yeah. And you hit control, the control button. Yeah. CV at the same time. And it should work. It should, you should see the, the, the link post in the, in the little comment box there. And then you just hit send. And, uh, it'll post the, uh, the link. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I can't do it, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. So I always had this problem. All right. Anyway, I tried. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right, brother. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Yeah, guys. I'm not, I don't think I could do it. I'm not sure. I'm trying to do it. I can't do it. Paulie Zach and his black Lincoln town car, Renateria. He's a mean looking Sicilian. I was there when you were a pup. Then I escaped when the cocaine cowboys went nuts. That's the truth. <clears throat> yep. Those were the days, I'll tell you. Paulie Zach, I'll tell, I'll tell you a story about Paulie Zach, okay? I think I told this story once before. What happened was. <clears throat> When we were kids, the wise guys, they would tell us, all right, come on, take a ride. Take a ride with us to the house. I remember an old time wise guy named Rocco. He used to come and enjoy the Chico's club. He used to take me. I used to go to his house all the time, him and his son, and uh, hang out. Now, 
Paul Isaac tells me and the kid Albert Slavin, we uh, hop in his car, he had this big, uh, big town car. Paul Isaac always had a pair of slacks on, black hair, slick back, uh, heavy set guy, always had a personality problem, always arguing about P knuckle with somebody else. Okay. Was a, a, a tough, uh, a bad loser. Let's just say every time he lost, there was always an argument. He would throw the cards at people, everything. I mean, he was, he was, he was tough. I mean, he, he was a wise guy for a long time. Paul Isaac. So me and Albert Slavin, we get in his car and we, he gets on the Bell Parkway. Okay. It's a bright, sunny day. It's beautiful out. Paul Isaac lived in a, like near Sheepsa Bay in the back over there. He, uh, had a house over there, somewhere in that area. We're on the Bell Parkway, and you got this biker that's in front of us. I mean, he's riding his bike, and uh, he's in front of us, and he's doing like maybe, I would say 30, 40 miles an hour. He's just cruising on a bright, sunny day. All of a sudden, Paulie Zach bumps right into him. Boom, the guy goes flying in the air. Paulie Zach just keeps on going. Me and the kid Albert Slavin were just looking at ourselves. I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, and we just kept our mouth shut, and we're both laughing underneath. I mean, without Paulie Zach even looking at us. But that's a, a quick story of Paulie Zach. Paulie Zach was a tough guy. He, were, he ran right into the guy, boom. The guy went flying up in the air and just fell. The bike went, went rolling into the dirt, and that's a, a Paulie Zach story. But back then, the guys were tough. I mean, they didn't give a fuck about nobody back then. You know, it was a crazy time. It was a different time. Jimmy is a boomer. Smoked my first cigar with Paulie Zach and my pops. Arch Escajano. We lived above his club on 17th Avenue way before you were born. Yeah, but I remember the club on 17th Avenue. It's right down the block from the Utrecht. Is that the same club? And then he had his brother. What was Paul Isaac's brother's name? If you know Paul Isaac, you know his brother. What was his brother's name? His brother wasn't a wise guy. Was it Alzac? It was Alzac, right? Paul Isaac's brother, Alzac. Yes, I remember him. What happened to Mikey Amin? Is he alive? Yeah, Mikey Amin's around. I just I just saw him in a video with uh with uh a couple a couple guys in Florida. He's around. He's doing a video soon. He'll he'll be in uh the next video coming out. I think they're doing a documentary. Jimmy, you got a great Paulie G story from old neighborhood and holidays with you. Well, I could tell you about a Paulie G story. Like I said, look, when I used to go to Paulie G's house all the time, his mother, Millie, was a great cook. Okay, she was Sicilian. Uh, Gino was Sicilian. And they were like Italians from, uh, I'm not sure if Millie was born here, but Paulie G's father wasn't born here. Uh, but they were old school Italians. You know, uh, my mother... My mother's father came here. I think he was one years old. Uh, but Paulie G's father spoke Italian, and the mother spoke Italian too. She was a short lady, but she was a great cook. So uh, I was always in and out of my friend's house on the holidays. And uh, every holiday, there was always a big spread of food, whether it was my family, my friend's family. We, that's one thing the Italian people love to do. We love to cook and we love to sit down with people and we love to break bread and eat with them. That's a sign of love and peace. You know, you're a part of the family. So, uh, gun smoke, what's up, pal? So, uh, so we sit down. And uh, Millie put up this big spread. She, she had all kinds of uh, pasta. Uh, there was uh, turkey. There was ham. There was uh, sausages, meatballs. There was everything. And there was something that I could never forget. Potatoes, okay? Because every time I ate at Paulie G's house, any dish Millie made, whether it was chicken cutlets, 
whether it was pasta, whether it was uh, anything, there was always a dish of potatoes on the side. And uh, if an anybody in Paulie G's family, whether the siblings watching this, they know how real that is because she always made potatoes, whether it was mashed potatoes, whether it was, uh, you know, uh, fried potatoes, but the fried potatoes, they were so crispy and delicious. But uh, that's a story when I used to go to Paulie G's house. Millie, oh, every dish she made, there was always a dish of potatoes on the side, whatever she was making, pasta, chicken cutlets, a steak, anything. But uh, she was a great cook. She was a great mother. And, you know, there was something about the Italian kids, whether it was me, Paulie G, Georgie Adamo, John Polio, we always spoke back to our mothers, you know, the mothers with the boys, the Italian boys, like we're their everything, you know? So, uh, you know, they love us genuinely and unconditionally. It's so true. And the same thing with the fathers, with the daughters. I mean, this T over here knows everybody. What happened to Dean Benicillo? What happened to Dean Benicillo? You know what happened to Dean Benicillo. He's doing good for himself. He's got a family. God bless him. He's got a family. He's probably got a legitimate business. Good for him. Yup, Jimmy Wright, kiddo corner to New Utrecht, where I went, grease balls. That was the term was for folks from the old country. Yes. JP, welcome back, Jimmy. Thank you. Was that Pete Rocco? His son was cousin John Rocco. He had the bagel shop on 1786. No, I think you're talking about Rocco's on Fort Hamilton and 65th Street. I think that's what you're talking about. Tech Toyota, happy Easter. Jimmy, God bless you and your family. Tech Toyota, same to you. Thank you. Home cooking is the best. I love, I love, uh, you could cook a good dish of food. I love it. And I eat. All right. Well, <clears throat> hey, guys, look, I've been on for a, an hour and 20 minutes. Let me just wish you all a happy Easter. Thank you all for showing up. I just wanted to come on, share some time with you. It's been a while since I did this. The next time what I'll do is I'll drop the link uh, and I'll get it right next time. I really appreciate uh you all coming out. Our Lady of Rosie of Pompeii Church in Brooklyn is on fire. Hmm. Really? Tony, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Look, guys, until next time, have a great holiday. Happy Easter to everybody. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. You know, next time we'll have a guest on here. I just wanted to show up just to, uh, you know, last couple of times I said I was going to come on. I didn't come on. I didn't want to do that to you guys again. Uh, Rob D. Thank you, Rob D. Lewis Cole, great to have you back on. And graffiti mod and live and let live. My love, respect, Jimmy. Cole, the same thing to you. I hope the kids are doing good. Kiss the kids for me. Uh, send my love to everybody. And uh, hopefully uh, maybe you get on the next one. And uh, you get on here, we'll have a conversation. And we'll, you know, we'll have some fun with it. Like we, like we used to, you know. We'll get back to having some fun with it. Forget about the haters. Forget about them. They're not going to interfere with our lives. We're going to do videos. We're going to move on. That's it. This is their life on YouTube, which is not ours. We come in, we have a little fun with it, we make some friends. Maybe we can help somebody along the way. That's what it's all about. Crystal Ward, Tim S., you are absolutely right. We always had get together lots of food and family, played music and sang. Happy Easter, Calandra family. Boston J, have a great day. Beck, 
Chicago Muscle, Crystal Ward, Martin Case, Square from Delaware, Jesse, Frankie, Lewis Cole, all you guys that came by. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate seeing you all. I really mean it a lot. And uh, I'll see you on my next video. Love you all. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye, guys. This is what comes to many people's minds when they think of Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Organized crime figures being gunned down in the streets. That's what happened to Carmine Varialli and Frank Santora last Thursday on Bath Avenue in Bensonhurst. Saturday night, another hit about 20 blocks away. Some other recent mob executions in Bensonhurst were Frank DeChico, blown up in his car last year. Two more men shot a few months after that. Sal Scarfer's life ended execution style this January. So if you watch the news, you might get the idea that Bensonhurst is a place where mobsters come to get killed. The streets will never love you back.